It may look like a movie. You raise that gun up, I'm gonna have to use force against you and I don't wanna do that. But in this scene, Already dead. But like police don't know how this Black Lives Already Matter dead. member will let it end in this abandoned school. And your family wants you home. Why did I come back? Why me? Playing an unstable Afghanistan vet with a loaded gun. You won't let me kill myself? Leave the gun where it is, okay? The f kill you! It does humanize the officers, um, but it also, frankly, also humanizes the, the folks who are on the other end of that. Thumbs towards the ground. Lloyd College Poli Sci Professor Ron Nakora and about half a dozen others are participating in the first right. of its kind training. It's important to make these scenarios, uh, in that sense, at least I think so, as realistic as possible. You know, anything could really happen here based on how the officer handles it. Any members that were interested in doing this? Beloit Police Chief David Zabolski says all 60-plus officers are undergoing the unique citizen-involved training that he believes could be done across the U.S. It's probably going to set the stage for um, some other national models and how police do training. I think that getting those community participants is really beneficial. You'll notice Beloit police aren't even in the same room as the gunmen, and there's a big reason for that. They're focusing right now on using extra distance and cover, all to ensure they don't have to use force when they enter. But to actually see it live and to run it that way and to do those scenarios, you actually see, oh yeah, that does make a lot of sense. I think it's just falling apart. A lot of sense to Professor Nakora we would like to see the training happen a lot more. Being able to see the officers take that criticism, to see the trainers say, yeah, you know, that's a good observation, um, has been, for me, a sort of powerful reason to keep doing this. Katherine Larson, 27 News.